Hi friends, good morning, happy Small Business Saturday. I hope you guys had a really great Thanksgiving and a good Black Friday. I hope you guys found some deals if you went out shopping. Today, as promised, I have my my tired little helper here. <laughs> so we're gonna share with you guys what sold for the week of the 19th, November 19th through November 25th, which is today. And it is only seven o'clock in the morning, so I don't have any sales that are new today yet, but I will be sharing with you all of these sales. I'll put a picture of them on the screen right here so that you guys can see them because most of these you have not seen in hauls that I've shared with you. I will tell you guys how much the item sold for, how much I'll make, and if it didn't come from the bins, I'll tell you guys how much I paid for it and where I got it. First, I sold this silver belt buckle. I got it at the bins and it sold for $35 and I'll make $25. Next, I sold a bundle. I was just saying last week how bundles are far and few between and literally the second sale I had after that video was a bundle of three things. Someone bought some winter gloves, a Ralph, an RLX Ralph Lauren sport puffer jacket and that Emporio Armani like really nice neoprene full zip jacket. They paid $140 for the bundle and I'll make $112. I sold this Aviator Nation hoodie. These are really popular and this was the ninja style. It has like a high neck on it. I paid $6 for that at a regular thrift store and it sold for $97 and I will make $75. Next I sold this Victoria's Secret little bling. It says like Victoria's Secret on the straps and it's like in gems. Uh, push-up bra. It was the bombshell bra. It sold for $23 and I'll make $18. They sold some jewelry pants. They sold for $21 and I will make $16. They had some staining on them so I feel like that's a little low for this brand but I'm okay with that because they came from the bins. This was a full price sale. This soft surroundings dress came from the bins and someone paid my full asking price of $79 and I'll make $63. Soft Surroundings is like a really good bread and butter brand. People that like Soft Surroundings, they like it and they seek it out. The, the vintage Victoria's Secret corset top, the little, I don't think this one was the union made one, but it was an older one. It sold for 42 and I'll make 33. Next, I sold that We Wore What jumpsuit. It sold for 30 and I'll make 21. Then I sold a Levi's denim jacket. It sold for 50 and I will make 40. I sold some Timberland leather boots. Now these aren't the Timberland that you think of like workwear boots. They're a different brand. They're Timberland Boot Co. And they're much higher retail, but I had these forever. I got them at a regular store for $10 probably over a year ago. They sold for 28 and I'll make 19. I'm just happy to see them go to be honest with you. I found another pair of those boots but they had been seen on Taylor Swift and they sold for a pretty penny, like really fast. So I was not scared to pick up that brand, but apparently it's hit or mess with Timberland Boot Co. <laughs> Next I sold this skeleton, a little vintage skeleton cutout. It sold for 19 and I'll make 12. Sold some Spanx, they were from Plato's. I think I paid $12 for them at Plato's Closet. I traded some of my store credit for for them at Plato's Closet, but I believe the tag was $12. They sold for $40 and I'll make $32. Next, I sold an icebreaker t-shirt, just a basic merino wool tee. It sold for $21 and I'll make $13. Again, like smart wool, people like icebreaker. I sold that vintage 70s campus knit sweater, the one that had the talon, like the circle pull zip Circle? Circle pull? zipper. <laughs> it sold on eBay for $33 and I'll make $22. I know some people were asking in my last video why only Poshmark. I just hadn't had any sales on eBay last week but I was working hard to be cross posting things onto eBay this week and I did have some eBay sales to share with you guys and I'll make sure to mention that too as I go. Next I sold a vintage velvet like smoking glamour robe. It sold for $25 and I'll make $20. And I sold a Juicy Couture tote for 18 and I'll make 14. Then I sold another pair of Spanx. They sold for 20 and I'll make 13. I sold this Butter Moth sweater that I showed you guys and I think it was my second haul video. I'll link it right here. 
Uh, it's over 24 and I'm like 16. So I'm happy to see it go off to its new home. That was definitely one I took a risk on and one I normally wouldn't have picked up. Then I sold this Lauren Ralph Lauren home. It was a duvet cover, so not the filler, just the cover and one standard shillup, shillup, pillow sham. It sold for 84 and I'll make 67 That also came from the bins. I sold that Zynga, the Armengildo Zynga uh, linen blouse, linen blouse, linen button down shirt. My full asking price of 79 and I'll make 61 the St. John Cardigan. St. John is a brand that, for me, it used to sell so fast and for hundreds, if not multiple hundreds of dollars every time I found it, especially if it was the Santana knit. Like that, that was the keyword to put Santana knit. Now it's just so so, and you know, people will pay up for certain certain pieces, but this this cardigan I had for a pretty long time, and it only sold for 30 and I'll make 24. This J. Crew eyelet top sold. It was new with tags and it, it sold for 26 and I'll make 20. Sold this Life Love Nature cashmere like pullover sweater. I bought this at a regular retail store on Monday of this week. I think I paid like seven or eight dollars for it. It sold for my full asking price on eBay for $70 and I will make 57. So those Lottos clogs, they were so cute and I did try them on and I I liked them, but I thought to myself, Megan, where will you wear these? Because you're not going to wear these thrifting, you're not going to wear these to the bins, where are you going to wear these? So I decided I didn't need them. They sold on eBay as well for $65 and I'll make $62. I sold this Vince New With Tag sweater dress. I bought this dress for $50 at one of my friend's consignment shops. I'll put her a little information for her store right here, Miss Whitney. If you are ever in the Denver area, you should definitely swing, Denver Littleton area, you should definitely swing by and check her out. She had lots of great stuff. But I bought this Vince dress probably last year now for $50 and it finally sold for $100 and I'll make $80. I thought it was going to sell for double that, which is why I was willing to spend $50 on it, but it's okay, I still... Made some money on my investment, it just took a little while. Then that fully fashioned, vintage, fully lined, like um, floral beaded sweater sold on eBay for 28 and I'll make 20. Sold another bundle, you guys. I sold a vintage Nike jersey and a Montana State vintage t-shirt for $50 and I'll make 40. Those vintage Levi's moving on jeans sold. Unfortunately, they did not fit me. They sold for 38 and I'm in 27. I sold this cute panda knit vintage sweater. He sold for 35 and I'm in 28. I sold some Halifinger, I think that's how you say it. They're like felted wool clogs. They're pretty expensive and I never have picked up this brand or sold it before, but they just were in such great condition. I was like, What's the, what's the harm in holding on to them and Googling them at your cart, Megan? And so glad I did. They sold for 40 and I'll make 32. Then I sold that Prada jacket that we bought for, what was it, $59 at the regular thrift store that I did show you guys in a previous haul. It sold for 140 and I'll make 112. So I'm happy with doubling my money. I did expect it to go for a little bit more, but I am happy to see it go. Oh, and just an update, I still don't know about the Montclair jacket. It still is, it was authenticated by Poshmark and as of Wednesday was on the way to the buyer's house still. So it, it has not arrived to the buyer yet. So this Paramore, Paramore hoodie is from Urban Outfitters. It was new with tags and it sold for my full asking price of $57 and I'll make $45. These APC jeans, they were also a full price sale. This is another pair of jeans that I've, or another item that I've had forever. This was something I bought back when I was doing retail arbitrage at Nordstrom Rack, would I suggest that? No, because I feel like things go to Nordstrom Rack to die or they're oversaturated or their style or size that doesn't fit the mass as well. With that being said, I think we found these APC jeans for maybe, maybe $12 at Nordstrom Rack and I for sure thought that was that's a great deal you know these will sell fast 
two years later, they sold for my full asking price of 57 and I'll make 45. So was it a bad buy? No. Would I have done that again? Probably no. <laughs> okay, so now we're through the week and now I have all these little orange stickers on these on my sales, which means this is my Black Friday sales. This little stack are all the things that sold yesterday during my Black Friday sale. Um, you if you follow my Poshmark closet, if you've liked items in my closet, you will have seen that yesterday I sent out 60% offers on every single item in my closet. Today, Small Business Saturday, I'm going to send out 65% offers on every single item in my closet. So hopefully that results in some more sales for next week's video. But like I said, what I'm about to read you are my Black Friday sales. And most of them were 60% off. Some people did pop in and buy things at full price, but some of these sales are going to be a little bit lower than the average I would have liked to see some of these items sell for, but that's okay because I'm happy to see them go and get them out on, on Black Friday and have some more money for some new inventory. So first on Black Friday, that vintage bear sweater sold that you guys have seen in my previous haul. He sold for 20 and I'll make 13. Then I sold a Lululemon crew neck. This crew neck was so soft, so nice. It looked like it was kind of like maybe ice dyed. It sold for 29 and I'll make 20. I sold a Harley Davidson t-shirt. I found the last, one of the last times I went to the bins, I found like a whole stack of some man's like old Harley shirts. They weren't like super old. They were like mid 2000s and up. But one of them already sold. It sold like overnight for 25 and I'll make 20. Then I sold this Citron Waves top. It sold for 33 and I'll make 26. Then this Anti Sad Boy Club hoodie sold. It sold for 40 and I'll make 32. And I believe that was a full price sale. Then I sold this REI puffer vest. I like picking up puffer vests, even if they're not like Patagonia or North Face or Montclair, you know, aren't, even if they aren't like a high, high end name brand because they don't weigh anything. And if they're still made with goose down, they still keep you just as warm as the Patagonia one that costs, you know, three times the price. The REI vest didn't sell for too much. It sold for 25 and I'll make 20. But like I said, it doesn't weigh anything. So I probably paid next to nothing for it. Hey, cozy over here, my sweet girl. Then the vintage quilt topper that I showed you guys. This is one I was hoping would have gone for a little bit more, but like I said, it went on my Black Friday sale for 60% off. So somebody got it for a score of $38 and I'll make 27. I, I wish I could like, maybe I'll put like a note in there. If you finish this, I would love to see a picture on it finished. <laughs> or is that weird? I don't know. Then I sold this little lemon belt bag. It sold for 17 and I'll make 10. This is one that I got at Plato's and I'm pretty sure it was either 12 or $15, so I did actually lose money on that sale, but that's okay. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Then I sold this blazer. This blazer is a brand that I found before. I'm not even gonna try to say her last name. Anne is her first name, and I will put like her actual brand on the screen here so you can see. I've sold a pair of funky shoes from her before, and they had like this really weird like angle. They were boots, ankle, ankle boots, and they had this really weird like angled heel, and it looked like I don't know how to explain it. Maybe I'll put a picture on the screen if I can find them. So this is the only second time I've ever found this brand, but I feel like this brand is kind of like Mesa Margiela in the fact that people like have like a cult following for her a little bit. You know, when they like her stuff, they like her stuff. And I believe when things sell out, they sell out. Anyways, I sold this blazer, this really nice black blazer for $119 and I'll make $92. This J. Crew Men's Ludlow, I believe, is the style of the jacket, like overcoat sold. It was wool. This also came from the bins. It was a little bit heavy, so I was a little reluctant to pick it up, but I think I weighed it when I was there, and it weighed like six pounds or something, so I didn't pay too terribly much for it. It sold for 61, and I'll make 45. Here's another puffer jacket, an Eddie Bauer puffer jacket, just a regular jacket, not a vest. It sold for 22, and I'll make 14. Again, it weighs nothing, nothing was wrong with it. It will keep you warm. I'm happy to pick them up. And Plato's doesn't take Eddie Bauer, or Eddie Bauer, or LL, LL Bean. Yeah, those are the two that they always tell me they don't take so I can't take those brands to play those. Their icebreaker item this was a really nice quarter zip men's sweater it sold for 46 and I'll make 36. Let's see your sweet baby. We're almost done okay. 
I love them. Bogner Vintage Ski Pants sold. They were a really pretty red color. They sold for $22 and I'll make $14. Those I've had for a little while, so I'm happy to see those go. Then I sold a flax top for $18 and I'll make $11. Next, these Dolce & Gabbana glasses. They came, they were at the bins in the case in a bin with like a hundred other sunglasses and I managed to grab three or four pairs that were designer and actually in their cases. These were one of them. They were, the frames themselves were like a little misshapen. If you laid them on the table, they were kind of like wonky and they had a prescription in them. The case was also a little bit damaged, but I did sell them for $27 and I'll make 18 and I got them this week. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> then the armadillo bag sold. He's another one that I was hoping to get a little bit more for, but I'm happy to see him go to a new home. He sold for 23 and I'll make 18. And last on Black Friday, I sold this Carhartt jacket. It sold for 48 and I'll make 35. So again, I'm so sorry. I forgot to put my, I mean, I forgot to tabulate my net and my gross. So I will put that on the screen for those of you who are interested in that. From all my years of reselling, this year was the year that I was most worried about Black Friday because my sales have been so low in comparison to previous years for several months in a row. Um, but I'm so happy with the sales I did make yesterday. Like I, I did my best in building up to Black Friday to post the things that I did have and consistently post on multiple platforms every single day to really build that momentum and do as much as I could on my part because you can't force anybody to like your items, see your items or wanna buy them. So I'm really grateful for all the sales I did make yesterday. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous, but things worked out and I should know that by now. Things usually work out for me. Uh, I just need to stop worrying so much. But anyways, how was your Black Friday? If you're a reseller, did you have a sale? How did it go? Did you have some great sales? I don't need to know your numbers. That's not what I'm asking for. I'm just wondering your opinion. Did you have a great sales day? Or if you're a shopper, did you find anything great? I would love to know. If you watch this video, it means so much to me. I so appreciate you taking the time out of your day. If this video was helpful to you at all, please let me know in the comments below. And if you wouldn't mind on your way out, just hitting the like button, that would be great. See you next time, friends. Bye.